So this is problem number seven on the multiple choice, and it says find uh, find f of g of x and its domain. So remember what this means is that we're trying to find f if we plug g of x inside of it. Okay, and then the functions of f of x. Uh, is 1 over x minus 1. The function of g of x given is 1 over x plus 2. So basically, we're going to assume that the x value for the outer function, which is f, is equal to g of x. So let's work from the inside out. Okay, g of x, we know. And the, the concept of working from the inside out is mostly helpful if instead of this being an x, it's a number. Because at this point, when you start off from g of x, you would plug in that number here. But we see that g of x is exactly what we've been given here. So we don't have to do anything to that this time. And now we go out a little bit more and we are trying to find f of what we've been given. So... I'm going to show you a little trick uh, that I call the parentheses rule. Um, so whatever you want to be inside of f here, you're going to just put a parentheses and leave it blank. And same thing here. So this value is the x value. So it's whenever we see an x, let's put a parentheses there. Parentheses minus 1. Okay? So now what we want inside is g of x. Which is the same thing as 1 over x plus 2. So that's what we're going to put inside of this parenthesis. Because this is representing the x value of f. Okay? So now, from here on, it's just a matter of simplifying. Um, since we don't want a fraction in the denominator, we're going to go ahead and combine this using a common denominator. Okay, the common denominator is going to be x plus 2. So we have 1 minus 1 times x plus 2. And make sure that you, uh, whenever you do this, you leave it the parentheses and go through the extra step, step of um, distributing this negative sign because many people just forget to do that and then you get a wrong answer. Maybe they would put that x is negative but not the 2. So just remember to do that. And then you get 1 minus, distributing this negative, we get negative x, negative 2. Over x plus 2. So if we want to divide 1 by this fraction, uh, all we have to do is change the division sign, this, into a multiplication and flipping this fraction. So we get 1 times, so we change the division, this division, to a, a multiplication, and now we're going to flip this guy so we get x plus 2 on the top, 1 minus x minus 2 on the bottom, and we can also combine the 1 and the negative 2, so we get x plus 2, um, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, negative x. So that's the final answer. And that's choice. down to two choices that we have to choose from. And the last part of this question asks to find the domain. So that's how we're going to choose which, which one, E or D. So let's go ahead and erase this. So the domain of um, something that looks like F of G of X is the domain of the final equation that we get. So this is So the domain of the final, but also very important is that you consider the, the domain of the inner alone, okay? 
So remember how I said this is f of g of x. So you want the domain on the inner of the inner function alone, and then combine that with the domain of the overall function with the inner function included. So let's just do that. The the first domain, I'm gonna call this i double i. The first domain is the domain of g of x. And so um, to find the domain of g of x, basically it's every number except when the denominator equals zero, because that would be in the determinant. So it's just x plus two not equal to zero. And if we subtract two on both sides, we get that x can never be equal to negative two. So that's the first part of the domain. Now the second part is the domain of this this function over here. So the domain of that would be when the denominator is equal to zero again. So we have negative one minus x not equal to zero. So let's add x both to both sides to make it positive, and we get x is not equal to negative one. And that's the second part of the domain, okay? So the final answer is going to be the domain is x is not equal to negative 1, x is not equal to 2, okay? And in many of these problems, you have to combine the two domains. If we have, like, a situation where you have greater than, less than, something like that, then you would make a number line to combine them. But in this case, it's just not equal to uh, since those numbers are not the same, we don't have to combine them. It's just two different um, domains. So the answer is going to be uh, E. Because it includes both the domain of the outer and the inner. Beware that choice D only gives you this domain. That's for people who get confused and forget to include the domain of the inner function. So that's a little trick um, and you might fall for. So make sure you include both domains. And that's a big part of this type of problem. So the answer is E.